Good afternoon, folks. We're going to visualize one of this morning's stories here and add a drop of perspective on the bigger picture we've all got in mind. We were discussing heliospheric pressure and the shape of CMEs over solar cycles. They are changing. Heliospheric pressure, the plasma pressure of the solar system within the sun's magnetic bubble, is dropping, and with it, the confines and chains on CME explosions from the sun. They are less compact, more wide burst, and while that means they have a broader impact like buckshot, like a shotgun blast, they are less potent compared to a bullet, less of a punch when they do hit. Folks, this is what most CMEs used to look like, the light bulb shaped eruption. The confined CME that contains all the power of the explosion within that confined area. That includes what I have many times described as the scariest CME ever recorded. But now, well, just look at the CMEs from the great May 2024 solar storms. You see any bulbs? No. Just wide burst eruptions. And that is what the paper was describing. Now, I cannot tell you if the galactic changes we follow so closely at the channel are making the heliosphere like this or are impacting the sun to make it that way. I have my suspicions. But I can tell you this. It is already a fact that what hit us in May should never have produced that sort of solar storm effect those aurora. It wasn't big enough, and the only explanation is that Earth's weakening magnetic field let the sun take a bigger shot at us than it had cocked and ready. But when we consider that it was a wide burst, buckshot, less potent group of CMEs, kind of just takes everything we've been discussing for the last 60 days up a notch. Just something to file away back there, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.